Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another video, man. And know I've been gone for like six, seven months, but here to tell y'all I'm back. And I know I've been having a lot of people hit me up, ask me where I've been at, ask me am I good. But to be honest, I was just going through a real rough time, but I'm kind of better right now. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. PSD will be in the description. Join my Discord if you need help, or just hit me up on Twitter. But without it being said, let's get straight into the video. Man, so I already know it's been a little minute since I made a, a bound on this channel, but. Yeah, first thing you want to do when you get in here to make your banner, you want to go to your pen tool and basically insert your images and start cutting out. Now, for the background, I just went on Google and I typed in like um, screen images and stuff like that. And once you find your background image, you can just put it on the banner and put the image you want to cut out on there and just cut that out. And that's basically what I'm going to be doing right here. Basically what I'm doing right here, I'm just going on the image with my brush and kind of adding outer glow to it. And when you use your brush, make sure your hardness is on zero. Before I did this, I also added a little color correction. And that basically consists of me just messing with the brightness and the contrast. And I kind of turned the brightness down, but up the brightness on the image you see that I cut out. And yeah, I just add the inner shadow, outer glow with the brush. And like I say, make sure your hardness is on zero. And with the second image I just brought in, I'm going to follow the same steps and use the same technique you just seen me do. Now for this next image I just cut out, I'm actually going to do something a little different. I'm going to be making shadows on his feet, so I'm going to use my brush and kind of manipulate it to what it looks like a shadow. And the only thing I do for that is I just kind of bend it down and change the uh, size of it and the shape of it, basically. But earlier, I also added some smoke to the image, and you can just find like a free smoke brush and kind of do that, because I'm going to be using that a lot on this banner. But yeah, I'm just using the same stuff that I did on the other image, add brightness to the image uh, at an inner shadow. And as you can see, I just made a shadow. That's what I was talking about. But I actually have a tutorial on that if you don't know how I did it. But yeah, just use smoke, add a shadow, do inner shadow, and make shadows on the feet. And that's pretty much how I do that image. Now what you see me doing right here is I'm in a program called Cinema 4D. I actually have a couple of tutorials on my channel on how to use it. But basically what I did, I used my little template to make this 3D text. Now if you need that template, hit me up in the comment sections or just DM me or join my Discord server. But yeah, I made the 3D text, then I put little shadows using the same formula for what I did to the image that I cut out. You see on the left side, but I do this. Um, I render two different type of text, as you can see. And I kind of just mess with the gradient on it, but I'm gonna let it play out so y'all can get a better understanding.
And basically what I'm doing right now is just getting socials for the little social part of the banner. And I use a rectangular tool and a ruler to make that shape right there. And I load the opacity on it. And before I was doing this, you could see that I put an inner shadow on the text. I made some shadows using the same method that I used for the person I cut out on the side. And I also did a gradient and used the color on the shirt for the gradient. That's what I do for a lot of my banners so the colors can actually match the image. But yeah, you can just see I'm adding um, text to the socials and I will leave that font down below along with the 3D text font. And that's pretty much that. Ivan the producer. So around this time, I'm basically almost finished with the banner. So I just go around touching up with my brush and a little smoke. And as you can see, I did cut out that new image. Now I think right here, I'm about to cut out this uh, thing that's Cadillac and kind of put it somewhere on the image. But yeah, like I said, around this time, I'm basically done. So I just touch up around the banner. And once I get to the end, you'll see me messing with the camera off filter to make everything look kind of 10 times better. So I'm gonna just let it play out till we get to that part. All right, so right here, I go into camera off filter. I use my preset name, preset 57. I also use Topaz Lab Stone, some mild details. I think even go to Magic Bullet Looks and add some chromatic aberration. But basically with the camera off filter, I have tutorial on this showing the presets that I use and how to make it look crispy. So you might want to check that out. I'll leave it in the comment section. But yeah, once you get done, just go into camera off filter add some settings to it that'll make it look better like i said i have a tutorial on that but that's pretty much it how to make the banner if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a like subscribe and i'm gonna let you all see the result mm -hmm.